Welcome back to Kingsbridge. We're here to rolling into somebody's... Some unspecified somebody's cellar. I wonder if this is another one of the uh, accounts. I don't know. Going a long way west, we're kind of getting off the map. Oh, maybe this is the way out? It's not place markers. Hello, what's this? My brother and I fled our plague-ridden village, travelling through the forest and along the river. A small breach in the wall allowed us to reach the aqueduct of Kingsbridge, the village nearest to ours. I left my brother there and I ran to the village to ask for help, but I was paid no heed. So I broke into the tavern and took a little food for me and my brother Amos. On my return I saw the wanderers. I thought they were a legend. All of them had once lived in our village, and now they carried the plague with them. If only there was a way to get rid of them. New objectives complete. Discover how the plague came to, came to Kingsbridge. Okay. I guess it doesn't really. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! There's an actual whole passage here. Hang on. I thought it was just a, a little tiny shallow pond. Oh, this is a breach in the wall that. Uh... What's his name was writing about? Whoa, how far does this go? Oh my god, this... this... Okay, this goes a lot further than... than I thought. Huh. So that was which which end of the bridge are we? Where are the western end, right? Yeah, so this is this is right, to forest. Hmm, is there anything else here that we might need to go to the forest for? New optional find a way to release the wanderers. Okay. Uh but uh we've only got those why didn't I make more ampule arrow arrows, actually? I could have made one more. Can I can I not do both the Wanderers and...? Alright, well, let's, let's, at the risk of drowning ourselves, let's see where this takes us. Ah, oh, there's, there's the passage. Very hard to see. Breath. Just check here in case there is anything of value. Tucked up against these grates. No. Alright. Face the passage. Take another breath. And down we go. That was not too far. Okay, that's fine. Seems to be somebody's dwelling, which is, I guess, what I wanted. God, this water must be freezing, Garrett. Are you alright? <laughs> Hang on, is that a wanderer? I think that's a wanderer. Interesting. That's again to the west. Hmm. Where are we? Not making quite so much noise. The ladder placement was a little off, and I mantling was interrupted by the thing. Ah, oh. looks like a keeper. Oh, we're still in under the s parts under the city. Quietly. Got some rats here too. Ah, I see. Well, the rat potion will help us there, that's for sure. Another one to run. I want to read 
read what that note says, that's for sure. Let's I'd be quiet getting down here. Guess I'm not getting in that hole. Oh, it's just a kid. I saw Petronilla today. The only person in the whole of Kingsbridge to listen to me. She says she knows the cure for me and my brother. She will bring us food. We meet tonight at the entrance to the aqueduct. Typical of adults to not keep their word. She never arrived, and I don't think she ever will. I stole a chair from the carpentry shop. I sit here waiting. Maybe come up with the... Oh dear. So that's why we have to find a way to help the Wanderer. Well, do we have to choose between the city and the plague? We've only got two ampules. Or I could wrap potion and get in here. But I don't know how I get out again. I guess I'm going to save and try it, but it might be uh, a mistake. Ah, so we also have, it's also to forest, and we also have the Wanderers. Wanderer siblings. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap, wrap man here. Hmm, is there any purpose in breaking this? Well, it didn't seem to remark on it, so... I guess they just wandered and didn't really notice. Right, get, get through there. I see that great right opens there. It's a lever. And it's back here where we came in. When we came up. Okay, so we know where the wanderers are now. So I guess we know where to go if we want to free them. I guess that's why we have ampule arrows. Uh, I do wonder if I made a crucial, a critical mistake by using all my ampules to make ampule arrows. Does that mean we can't use them on the fireplaces? I don't know. Winning the city of plague does seem like a more important thing to do. Uh. Could be more of the forest too, but let's go over to the arrow shop and the candle shop and stuff. <laughs> right. Which side of the bridge are we on? This is the south side. Oh, here's the arrow shop. Hello, man. How's it going? Windows, 100 each. What are wind arrows? Are they just gas arrows? What do they do? I mean, it's like... Broadheads, 50. 50 each for broadheads? Are you kidding? Rope arrows, 200 each? No thanks. How much gold do I even have? 150. So I can't even buy... Oh no, they're 100 each. <laughs> well, I don't know if I need them. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was just going to say the same myself. I think my land guard friend is on his way. Just randomly sticking out of the wall there, I don't know. Hmm. 
Who's there? Oh. that door through. It's like, how, how do I open a door when it's locked? Oh. Antoniette, what was it, what was the name? Antoniette Dane. Let's check out the compass so I can see which way we're facing. We were... Here? Here, I guess. So it was right here. Four. And uh, needs both blood bugs and flares, but I guess. Well. I'm not sure I want to use the flare right now because. I mean, we can. I guess we can just. Do this. Hope we find another bug potion somewhere. See what else is in our house. Basement. Ah, there is an upper area. It's just a wood texture. I thought I saw something, but it wasn't highlighting. Just, just wood storage. Is it? No. Oh. More bug potion. Okay. Good. Good. So we we refill the bug potion. Don't know why you'd store a bug potion up there? You know, it is my secret cache of insecticide. But so this is kind of an important door for getting past this guy, right? Put out torches, then is that, is that what I'm supposed to realize? I don't know whose place this is, but it's, maybe this is the candle shop. A. A. Button. Oh. To create a print, it is necessary to have a written scroll and an image. Place, place the scroll on plate B. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I, let's, let's turn these back on so we can see what's happening. Place the scroll on plate B, the painting on plate A. Press the button and take the print. Which is plate B? There, I see. I mean, we have incriminating information-ish on one of the counts. All right, so this is the print shop. Let's douse that candle. Oh yeah, so this is the north side of the Wells Square. Ah, uh, let's mark it here, G. But I haven't found any of the other barony guys, right? Whatever they're called. Counts? There's an open window. No, it's not open. <sighs> what is this guy's patrol route? He's down here. All the way down here. 
goes around. Make it a little safer to sit in this doorway. You know what? We can light these candles again. Doing circles, is he? He was walking away from me before, wasn't he? Yeah, he's doing it back and forth, it's a big kind of C shape. Okay. And his friend is coming in here as well now. Now, is he just walking a bit, flying a bit randomly then? And his friend has stopped overlooking the square. His friend has turned around and gone away. Okay, there's a guy. Standing guard. Okay, that's got to be one of the counts places there on the west. There's somebody standing guard there. Okay, see, so this guy's just kind of wandering the square semi randomly. He's just like, okay, well, here's an interesting. Let's go to this corner now, let's go to this corner. Just mixing it up. Which is fair enough, you know, it must be pretty tedious as a guard there. don't want to be burgled if you have a bright light outside your front door. This is a candle shop. I mean, why do we need to be in a candle shop? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the candle shop owner has plague. I don't have money. Hearing the guards outside. Oh. They don't have much life either. We did good business outside Kingsbridge before the arrival of electricity. Now we trade only inside the walls of the city. It has not been enough for us. We had to sell several pieces of furniture and some paintings in order to buy food. Now this. My husband died in our bedroom. I think he contracted the plague. I can't live without him. Well... Is a shame. Emery Barber. Mm -hmm. Now I guess we use our bug spray here. So we're still short one bug spray then. Um, so we did. We need to do the flare for them, right? And um, we'll, we'll drop the flare outside here. There's no reason not to. It's already brightly lit. We'll drop it on our way out. I mean, yeah, that's sort of they didn't have any money to steal because they didn't have any money left. And if that had been the last money they'd had down there, I would have stolen it. So, you know, it would have been a, a grim story, whichever way we looked at it. Okay, what's that banner? Blue. Thought I saw something. Why is this not working? Is there a different door I need to be dropping it in? Maybe there's another doorway that's not the, that's not the front door of the shop. I 
little confused why this one's not working. So why doesn't... Emery Barber Flower I don't know So how am I going to, where am I going to go from here? I want to go over there I guess into that shadow Can I get into the well? Interesting thoughts. No, it's frozen up there. Okay, that's that's not safe at all. Gotta go straight there, and I've got this guy's gotta be patrolling in a way that makes it viable, I think. I'm not sure exactly what that would be. But certainly not where he's, the way he's walking right now. I'd run straight into his face. He probably would not appreciate that too much. Maybe just follow him, and if he goes back the same way. Maybe. What is that smell? Yeah, I want to jump that wall. It smells like old meat. I can't believe it. I washed a few days ago. Oh, that's a cool detail. It's like this is a fountain that it's all frozen over. Oh, wait. I don't know that I want to be here. I want to be up there. How the hell do I get there without being seen by this guy? Seems impossible. Mm -hmm. And maybe distract him, but that's going to get him all on edge. Whose banner was this again? It's kind of like a... Triangle with a blue sad face and five red dots mm -hmm. with a crown on top. Uh Kuzbert Crane, right, he's gonna be the hardest one. Yeah, and he's got he's got guards. Right. Even just getting to his front door is gonna be hard. You know what, let's just try it. What's that I see? Okay. Hello. Mm, strange. I thought there was something there. Mm-hmm. Right, can I do this? I don't know. Can and it made a different noise, which is interesting. Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> well, it seems clear. Getting into his house seems viable. <coughs> no one in the kitchen? Okay. Oh. Hang on, which... Where are we now? Is this south? Oh no, this is all his damn house, isn't it? This is gonna be all his house. So we come in here, yeah. So this is, this is, uh... What are we up to? H? H. And what's this guy's name? Crane. Mm 
All right. Uh, let's see what's through this door. Ah. Uh, he's got uh, security and keys. Okay, we're going to need a key. We're going to need a way to deal with the uh, mechanical security as well, I think. So this is his courtyard. Okay, let's get across this door. It's the only way forward at this level. There's a guard there patrolling this level. Where are they going? Kind of coming this way. You know what? Let's. How far do they come? They better not come out here. No. Yes. No, okay. <sighs> do we have any other? Uh, okay, we've got yes. I was gonna say, do we have any other arches? Okay, we do. Seeing a good, another good place to hide from this guy with his sword. But we may have space to find. <coughs> He's coming back. We'll go in and back in there in a minute. Doors. Lady Crane, I suppose. Not a door. No money. I hear the guards all too well. I've got right now. Hmm. Someone say something. Is someone there? You don't want to mess with me, Taffer boy. <laughs> God, I don't. Ah! Where's my flash bombs? I don't have any flash bombs. Where's my flash bombs? I don't have any. Uh, where, where did I save? Right, this guy's coming back. Alright, well I don't need to rush my way in there, right? This guy's got a long patrol, relatively. Someone say something. <laughs> I 
Okay. Should be reasonably safe here. I can hear the security. I don't know where it is, what it's doing, how we deal with it. Where did this guy go? He just did he stop? Yeah, he stopped and now he's turned around and come back. Okay. Well, I don't think the other sword guy comes in here. I hope he doesn't. This is just dark enough of a corner we might be able to. Uh... What's that I see? Dang it. Okay. Well, that's not dark. Damn brightly lit windows. More light shining in through the windows than there is outdoors. I guess it's all about relative perception, right? Okay, well this is a safe corner from him anyway, so that's where the paintings are. We're gonna have to find some way to deal with the security, right? Yeah, it's just a big mechanist face there. I wanted to see what we were dealing with. Didn't see any sign of wiring that I could follow. <laughs> we got a bug there with the snow particles. That's the engine's fault, not really the designer's fault. Is this where the guard comes? No, oh, hello. Kusberg Crane, I don't want to prop that. So that's the reference picture, right? That's the original. What does he have to say to us? To my two friends and fellow Kingsbridge Counts, I would like to inform you that the rumours about the arrival of the plague are unfounded. My most trusted messenger has been to the village that's closest to Kingsbridge, and the latest report makes no mention of the plague. So if you ever receive news about the arrival of the disease, know that it is just rumour. Therefore, I recommend that we do not close the Kingsbridge gates and not abandon our homes. Count Bertram Beardsley. Oh! No, 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 we're in Crane's house. This is a letter from Beardsley. Right, 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 right. So, denies. With regard to the painting, I've adopted the same system as my fellow accounts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so, note to self. Remember which painting is which? The real one. I mean, this is an interesting question, right? What makes one of them more authentic than the other? They're all painted. I mean, did you hire one master artist to paint one and lesser artists to paint the other? You know, just like... Okay, so we can get downstairs from here as well. Where's this then? Oh, I didn't even notice the doors here. Oh, this would have been way easier, much easier way to get in. Okay. So I went the difficult way. Let's get first try downstairs. I want to see if we can find any information on the uh, security system. Or any controls for it. Oh, huh? Hmm. Okay, that's the guy who's patrolling the yard. So we can't get in this way. I think we can make progress this way. Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. Nothing. Hmm. Strange. I thought there was something there. We may have to have a look at our security system again. Or we could go all the way around to where we started, get down to ground level in the snow, and maybe find something. And you know, it's possible that is actually what we need to do here. But it's so brightly lit now, I'm not going to have time to go and compare the paintings. 
Oh, and and yeah, that's just this landscape. Yeah, so. What was the thing about? Yeah, if if you got the same person to paint them all, then they're all originals. If you got, if they're indistinguishable except for these other differences, then how do you know which? How does anyone else know which is the original? Except by virtue of having the others to compare with, we just grab them all. No, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need to deal with that. Strange noises. Oh shit! It's not the way out. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna have to wait for him. To run his back. Go out through the double doors, go all the way around, get onto ground level, see if we can find something out about the camera, because this is just not not viable right now. We need that security system disabled. I don't see any other way of making this work. Strange noises. Yeah, someone making noise. Yeah, kinda. So yeah, that's way much easier way in than uh, going behind these two. <coughs> we'll follow the sword guy back. Oh, well. <coughs> the problem with this mission, I mean, do they even have door knobs on them? They do. I should have noticed. There's so many doors that look the same, the only difference is some have doorknobs and some don't. So, while I appreciate them doing some work to distinguish real doors from fake doors, it's not really sufficient. Feels safer here, to be honest. Maybe no, maybe it's not, but this, this guy's patrol is long enough, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna rope back down to ground level and see if there's any anyone on ground level that controls security. That's the yeah, right approach here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. Looks like it's nothing. <laughs> Well, I mean, before I do that, okay, there's lots of... We know there's an archer right there, right? Watching that way, so that's going to be... Actually, there's a rooftop there we could get to. Don't really see anything here we could use. Well, I guess we go down and look. What's this guy doing? He definitely comes down this way. We saw him going this way before. I guess we'll just go. Oh! Yeah, right. Press the wrong. Oh, semicolon is not quick load. Oh, L. <sighs> hmm. Don't like to take damage from just dang engine bugs. Okay. Ah, more bug, bug spray. Good, 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 good. Got our guy coming this way. I think. No, maybe. No, I guess he's just kind of wandering randomly as well. Just for maximum. Awkwardness. What is that smell? It smells like old meat. So how are we gonna get? How are we gonna manage that? Because that's this random wandering is the hardest kind of patrol route to dodge around. Who was that and what do they think they saw? With me just sitting here. 
Where did Sword Man go? There he is. I don't know why I'm constantly off by one on these hotkeys. But this is not under the painting, this can't be... This can't be security controls for the painting. He's not coming here. I suppose maybe it could be. It's levers controlling something. Four gates, four levers. Oh, I see. Number one controls the far one. Number two controls that one. And do we need to be in that room? This room has more levers. Right, that is the room we need to be in, okay. Oh my god. Purple the noise. So if we do that one. And that one, that gets us in here. Right, now we need to solve these ones. No, not that. Alright, I guess that works. Alarm. Turn the alarm off. Alright, I guess... I guess that works. I don't really know if that's the intended solution, but, you know... I'm not going to quibble about a working solution. Is there anything else down here that we need? I mean, there's a archway there, but I think that's nothing. I'm just going to make a run for it back here. Yeah, I don't... I mean, there might be something there. And maybe it's a spot for information. Carrot. Doesn't actually come down here. Maybe I just saw him walking away from this corner and thought he, you know, saw him walking there and saw he'd come up this way. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. It doesn't. But you know, I don't know. You really don't know. Should I try? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Let's just let's, let's just let's go down. Let's take the risk. We have time. A little boring, maybe, but be able to maybe see if there's anything going on that we're not really aware of. Yeah. Run out behind his back. Did you see anything just then? <coughs> it's never. Okay. Doesn't look like there is anything, but we can. We got here safely enough. All those sound propagation problems. And that one is just God. just a wood pile, right? Got again sound propagation problems. That's just a wood pile. Okay. Not too bad. Not too <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Alright, the alarm's off now. We've only got we're going to have some patrolling guard to worry about. Of course, the one who comes in here. Which, I don't know what is, where he is on his route, actually. He's right here. Not too close for comfort. This room is too bright to hide in very well. 
Okay. You're the no. Show yourself. <coughs> so we want to go back in those double doors. Now we need to be prepared for something to happen when we steal the right painting, of course, as well. Now we need to follow him through. Get a nice little vantage point here. Wait a minute. The camera is still on. The alarm is off? That doesn't sound... Definitely hit the off on the alarm switch. Was there a separate camera switch? Am I blind? We didn't have a key for. So, thank you. Okay, so we can get back in here easily now. Ah, okay, we don't need to turn the camera off, right? We can observe the paintings from safety, figure out which one's the real one out of the four. What was that? No, let's try and stay. A little more in shadow. Okay, let's have a look. The painting's got three people in the corner, two people kissing, one person behind them crouched in red with like a stone behind them. That's got the same four people. That I can't tell. That has the same four people. That's not a useful d difference. Uh hmm. Details seem sparse, like there's a church building. They all seem to have the church building. I think this one is the same four people, but I can't tell for sure. Okay, look at the one on the left there. See the tall orange tree that right kind of just right of center. There's a tall thin green tree just left of that on this painting that's missing on that. So that one's a fake. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that one anymore. I'm losing my bearings where I'm standing. Let's see if I can get another shaded position here. But the camera won't see me. Okay, that one's got is that a house on the far left? Oh, it's here on this one too. The church is there. Three trees plus a bushy one left of that missing one. Hmm, there's, there's so few details in the painting. Dog in the lower right is there on both. Oof. <laughs> 
So you're gonna have to run out and grab one and run back, right? That's, that's gonna be the plan, but... Let's have a look at this tree on the right. It's free bronze now, that looks... Oh. Uh, maybe... This tree on the far right has... Two green fronds, it has an orange frond right at the edge of frame, which is definitely here... On this one, but it's maybe missing on that one. I need a better angle. No, it's there on that one. It looks like it's got all the people there as well. God. How are we supposed to tell the difference between these paintings? We can't even look at them. Hmm. Well, got ten more minutes in this episode of, of Art Critic Simulator. See, it's just a place I can stand that's dark enough in shadow that I can see those two whole paintings at once. <laughs> yes, okay, so we can stand here and look at these two. Look for more details. Can't see them quite. I mean, I can zoom out a little bit. Wrong button. Hmm, maybe I can see better this way. No, the flashing light doesn't make it easier. What damn details are different? Oh. Ah, ha, ha. On the one on the left... The, by the house on the far left, there's like a fence just sticking out kind of behind it. That's missing on this one. So that's a fake too. Okay, those two are fake. These between these two are on the wall now. Because these two we need to compare. So I'm gonna have to stand under the camera when this guy's walking away and do it that way. Mm. Maybe look at them both at once is gonna be easier. Let's not waste any time if we can help it. Uh just looking for detail between them that's different. Yeah, I was wrong about that bushy thing being missing. Can't see anything right immediately. Not sure how much warning I get listening to this for this guy. Okay, we can definitely hear his footsteps before he comes. All right, so I don't need to. I don't need to be need to be too paranoid about being zoomed in and not able to see him. So let's wait for him to come back and do another cycle. So I'll just keep my ears, you know, peeled, as it were, for his footsteps. And we can uh, do this, and then I can stay zoomed in here and keep looking at these. Okay. I'm looking for details. Because that one on the left is so small, it's hard to tell. Any details of people different? I mean, I'm betting it's the one on the left, but I really don't know. See anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is stressful. Mostly stressful because I'm straining my eyes to see paintings at oblique angles and trying to hallucinating details that aren't there. They should have got some wind arrows. Alright, let me look at this painting. Oh my god, let me look at that one. I don't know, the alarm's off, right? Can we just can we just make a grab for one of them? 
I'm just trying to make a grip for them. I just like, I just do not know. Difficulties, I can't make a grab one of them in one run with this camera here, right? Let's get out of the room first. I have to make a grab on the way in, coming to this corner. Fake, so it's a 50 50 chance. Maybe I'll get away with it, maybe I won't. What am I going to do if I don't get away with it? I don't know. Grab both. We have a way out on that end, so this guard will be up this end of the whole way. We'll maybe just get away with it. I don't know. Let's just, just, just try and see. I guess this is where a speed potion might help, or an invisibility potion would certainly help, would get us in. Do I want to go all the way back to the potion shop? I do not. I'd spend 200 gold on an invisibility potion. I go with my gut that it's a small one. Is someone there? Turn the alarm off. Wait. This is how we got in here in the first place. Right, we can just leave. Well, I didn't find any more of this information map, but uh... <sighs> we got the painting. It's the right one. I hope. I mean, we couldn't pick up the fake one before, right? I don't know, maybe we can pick up the fake one and then this all just... I don't know, maybe, maybe we do it? I'm just, I'm just gonna make a save here. Uh, painting grab, just in case. Turns bad, I don't want to have to redo it really. Okay, let's reload that one now. <sighs> what am I trying to do here now? Show them something. Something moved there. It's all quiet now. So we need to go back to the print shop. It's that corner, right? Uh, make this paint printing and oh god, I don't. We've got more bug spray. We've got one more bug spray, right? The flare of the candle makes it's not working, and I don't know why. Let's go try making a print, I suppose. This is not the print shop, this is the candle makers. Where's that guy with the sword? Where, where, where was the printmakers? Well, we got this good painting. Map to see what what that would D print shop yeah oh right went they turned the wrong way is someone there but this is all 
Cosmos. Paint shop is there. And then that archway is the way into the square. Right, 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 right. So, try dropping this floor again, but. I don't know why it didn't work. Maybe we're supposed to drop it inside, inside the doorway? I guess that works, okay. Moved the wrong piece of text. Bar, bar, X. Okay, so Antonia Dane, we need to drop a player. We need to find a damn uh, ring as well. Right, the ring is somewhere in this area. Okay, what's the instruction for the print shop? Let's turn the lights on so I can see what we're doing. Place the scroll on point B. Beardsley's message. I hope he's the right one too. Place the paint painting on plate A. Is this one? No, this one? Yes. Won't let me. Odd. Maybe he's not the one we should be trying to incriminate. Can't, I don't know, I can't take this thing back though. Um. Won't let me drop it, won't let me use it. I need it, I need his portrait. Not the damn painting we're stealing from him, you. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna incriminate his great grandmother or whoever this is. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. God damn it. So we need to go back to Beardsley's and <laughs> need to get. I can't even spell portrait. Great. Damn. Okay, well. Unzoom, unzoom. Stay in the dark. <coughs> Zoom. You're looking for a ring. This was Antonia, right? It's a ring here. Just before crossing the bridge. Why can't you just give me the money without... What's the arrow shot? Without me needing to find your ring for it. Oh, he's coming back. Right, this is why we did not drop the flare at Anthony X's place, because... We can hide in the doorway. Oh. 
Let's go check near the bridge after this guy's gone by. You know what? Let's end the episode here. We'll just look at this ring afterwards. Thanks for watching. I'll see you here soon for the next one.